Good morning. Welcome to our service of morning prayer. We're starting a little late for that. We apologise. Um, on this day, uh, July the 3rd, the Church of England um, celebrates the life of uh, St Thomas the Apostle and today is his feast day. And so we pray with Thomas and, um, and with all the saints today. Everything that you need is on the, um, the screen in front of you. And so let us prepare to pray. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving and be glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth, and the height of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have moulded the dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah on that day at Massah in the wilderness when your forebears tested me and put me to the proof, though they had seen my works. Forty years long I detested that generation and said, This people are wayward in their hearts, they do not know my ways. So I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. It is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to tell of your love early in the morning and of your faithfulness in the night time upon the ten-stringed instrument, upon the harp and to the melody of the lyre. For you, Lord, have made me glad by your acts. And I sing aloud at the work of your hands. O Lord, how glorious are your works. Your thoughts are very deep. The senseless do not know, nor do fools understand that though the wicked sprout like grass and all the workers of iniquity flourish, it is only to be destroyed forever. But you, O Lord, shall be exalted forevermore. For lo, your enemies, O Lord, lo, your enemies shall perish. And all the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But my horn you have exalted like the horns of wild oxen, I am anointed with fresh oil. My eyes will look down on my foes. My ears shall hear the ruin of the evildoers who rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree and shall spread abroad like a cedar of Lebanon, such as are planted in the house of the Lord, shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bear fruit in old age. They shall be vigorous and in full leaf, that they may show that the Lord is true. He is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And a reading from the Gospel according to St John. Now a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary, and her sister Martha. Mary was the one who anointed the Lord with perfume and wiped his feet with her hair. Her brother Lazarus was ill, so the sisters sent a message to Jesus, Lord, he whom you love is ill. But when Jesus heard it, he said, This illness does not lead to death, rather it is for God's glory, so that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Accordingly, though Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus, after having heard that Lazarus was ill, he stayed two days longer in the place where he was. Then after he said this, then after this, he said to the disciples, "Let us go to Judea again." The disciples said to him, "Rabbi, the Jews were just now trying to stone you, and are you going there again?" Mm. Jesus answered, "Are there not twelve hours of daylight?" Those who walk 
During the day do not stumble, because they see the light of this world, but those who walk at night stumble, because the light is not in them. After saying this, he told them, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I am going there to awaken him. The disciples said to him, Lord, if he has fallen asleep, he will be all right. Jesus, however, had been speaking about his death, but they thought that he was referring merely to sleep. Then Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. For your sake I am glad I was not there, so that you may believe. But let us go to him. Thomas, who was called the twin, said to his fellow disciples, Let us also go, that we may die with him. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go out and to bear fruit, the fruit that shall last. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and has set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go out and bear fruit, the fruit that shall last. So let us pray. And we pray the litany this morning, and we pray sections 1, 2, 3, and 6. So let us pray. God the Father, have mercy upon us. God the Son, have mercy upon us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy upon us. Holy, blessed, and glorious Trinity, have mercy upon us. From all evil, and mischief, from pride, vanity, and hypocrisy, from envy, hatred, and malice, and from all evil intent, good Lord, deliver us. From sloth, worldliness, and love of money, from hardness of heart, and contempt for your word and your laws, good Lord, deliver us. From sins of body and mind, from the deceits of the world, the flesh, and the devil, good Lord, deliver us from famine and disaster, from violence, murder and dying unprepared. Good Lord, deliver us. In all times of sorrow, in all times of joy, in the hour of death and at the day of judgment, good Lord, deliver us. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your birth, childhood and obedience, by your baptism, fasting and temptation, good Lord, deliver us. By your ministry in word and work, by your mighty acts of power and by your preaching of the kingdom, good Lord, deliver us. By your agony and trial, by your cross and passion and by your precious death and burial, good Lord, deliver us. By your mighty resurrection and by your glorious ascension and by your sending of the Holy Spirit, Good Lord, deliver us. Help and comfort the lonely, the bereaved and the oppressed. Lord, have mercy. Keep in safety those who travel and all who are in danger. Lord, have mercy. Heal the sick in body and mind and provide for the homeless, the hungry and the destitute. Lord, have mercy. 
Show your pity upon prisoners and refugees and all who are in trouble. Lord, have mercy. Forgive our enemies, persecute us and slander us and turn their hearts. Lord, have mercy. Hear us as we remember those who have died in the peace of Christ, both those who have confessed the faith and those whose faith is known to you alone, and grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Give us true repentance. Forgive us our sins of negligence and ignorance and our deliberate sins, and grant us the grace of your Holy Spirit to amend our lives according to your holy word. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, who for the firmer foundation of our faith allowed your holy apostle Thomas to doubt the resurrection of your Son, till word and sight convinced him, grant to us who have not seen that we also may believe and so confess Christ as our Lord and our God, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. So thank you for tuning in for morning prayer this morning. Have a good day. God bless you and stay safe. And um, I hope you join us on Sunday for our three benefits Sunday morning service, which this month, uh, sorry, this week um, will be a children and families service. God bless.